Okay. I don't know whether I'm in frame or not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to just do like this. I'm just gonna have to <sighs> put this thing on a monopod and just hold up the camera, I guess. I really did not want to do that to you guys, but I have no other choice. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna be holding it. Hold on. I wonder if I can tape this on anyway. Let's just like tape it. Okay, so basically, I don't need to. Okay, so basically, y'all, I'm gonna be telling my story of why I was in foster care and what got me placed there and stuff. So. I didn't know these records off the top of my head because I was, like, I was required to read them and then sign a paper stating that, basically stating that I wouldn't do anything to, like, mess up at the foster home that I was in because they were very, very, very strict. So, um, yeah. So, I read, like, all my paperwork. It was, like, over a thousand pages. And, um... Yeah, this is the snow outside. So, yeah. Um. Where do I begin? Okay, so it was on April 4th. Wait. Was it April 4th? It was either April 4th or April 10th. I think it was April 4th, though. And, um. Of 2002. So I was in there from 2010 to 2015. That's five years. Not quite five years because I was in April. I was um in the foster care system. Put in the foster care system in January 31st. Wait, no, it was about five. It was five years and a little bit more than five years. Because I moved to North Carolina in 2014. I was adopted in 2015. So, yeah. Um, and I'm lucky I was adopted. But, um, anyways, let's get right into the video. So, April 4th of 2010, I was placed in the foster care system. Like, 10 police officers came to my house. I actually went to the police station and reported abuse. Yes, me at... I was very brave and stuff. I was reporting abuse because m my aunt, let's just call her Tina. Okay, so Tina was ab abusing me and my brother both. She was slapping us. She was hitting us. She was hitting us with these things. Like, she was beating us with leather belts with, they had spikes in them and thorns or whatever in them. And she was just beating us with it. And she had a paddle that said the school called. And then the over, if you flip it over, it said attitude adjustment on it. I remember that. Oh my gosh, that thing was so scary. And I remember just putting pull-ups on just to... Because I was still in diapers. Or pull-ups. So, like, I went have went from diapers to pull-ups. And I used to, like, put, like, a lot of them on just to... So, I wouldn't get hit. So, yeah. Anyways, um. My dad's down there eating some cake. <laughs> so, 
anyways, I really do have to get this video done though. Anyways, what I was saying was she used to beat us with that and my other aunt, let's just call her Amanda. Um, so Amanda was also beating me with a leather belt that had spikes in it. And I used to like bleed down my legs and stuff. My like my legs used to be so bloody. And so it was just so disgusting. And I reported that abuse to the police station. I told them that I was being abused. And I had actually taken a picture of my aunt. Um, Tina's. I think that's what I told y'all her name was. Tina, um. She had like slapped. And had her handprint still on my face. Because I had took it. As soon as she did it. Like she cussed me out. She stalked me. And she slapped me in my face, and as soon as she slapped me in my face, I took a picture of it. Like, as soon as she left the house, I took a picture of it. And I went down there, I showed the detectives that. And then, they walked in the house, and seen that it was like, they said that there was fecal matter in the toilet, or in the bathroom. Um, there was urine from where my brother had, my brother has like really bad urine problems, and he couldn't help it. But, like, he had, like, urine all over the floor in his bedroom and in his closet. And, hold up, I gotta see where I'm at. Okay. And, um, where was I at? Oh, yeah, there was fecal matter. There was, there was, like, plenty of food in the refrigerator. But at that time, there wasn't enough food in the refrigerator to, like, last the week. Because my grandma still had to go shopping and stuff. And then they just, like, shut the house down, basically, where my grandma couldn't even live in it. And it was just bad conditions overall because, like, we had basically destroyed that trailer or that house or whatever. And, um, yeah. So I was placed into the first foster home. I stayed there for six days. Um. Yeah. I was placed there for six days, me and my brother both, and I was near my cousin's house. And after that, I went to a group home, and I had stayed there for two years, or three years. Yeah, three years, and then my other foster home, I had stayed for like six months or whatever, from September 6, 2013, to um, January 31st of 2014. So, because I remember, because it was my friend, Sweet Sixteen, and she had went to the same exact group home that I was going to that had horses and stuff, and a pool, and it was just so amazing. I loved that last group home. I was only in two group homes and one foster home, thankfully. Well, actually two foster homes, because my grandparents now, or my parents now, they were foster parents, too. So, yeah, this is kind of my story of how I was placed in foster home, how I liked it in foster home, I didn't like my second foster, or, I liked my first foster home, I didn't like my first group home, um, at all, they wouldn't let us outside, they were very abusive to us, verbally and physically abusive, um, by the way, there was, like, a lot of abuse going on in my whole entire life, until I got to North Carolina, and, um, my second group home, there was no abuse going on there either. Um, so, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to know more information, just comment down below, y'all. Um, this is kind of a quick type of video. And, um, I love y'all, my movies. And uh, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see y'all next time. Peace.